had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. I love how Barry looks like a fucking scumbag. Yeah, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the How the fuck do you two know each other? Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. She like Wick. the she like Later. the president of my fan club or some shit? Who's Max? I don't know who the fuck Max is. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. Oh, baby mammoths. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered by the La Brea, La Brea, that's how you say it, La Brea Tar Pits, in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998, when the Colombian mammoth became Washington's state fossil. They're state fossils? Like state flowers and state birds, they're state fossils too? What the fuck? Named Bucktooth Charlie. It has since become the park's official mascot. Your official mascots is a fucking pile of bones? Look at the baby mammoth. Smokey the bear hat. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. I'm looking for coffee, okay? There's got to be some in here. Damn it. Can we turn the fucking light on in here? I don't feel like being in the dark. What? You shot a guy and his body just disappeared? I'll shoot you and you'll fucking you disappear. What, are you high? I'll Have make you, you disappear, drinking? motherfucker. No! Look, Barry. I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Sounds like I'm crazy. I'm a writer. I know what the fuck it sounds like. But when you start confusing fiction with reality... You're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Damn it. I wanted to explore. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay. Sure. Hey, little buddy, you look like you can use some coffee. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Oh, that's Max. Max is still groggy from the You told me to get the fucking paint. What do you want me to do? Yet. Stop talking Max to me. The desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You told me across from the mammoth. Oh. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making it up. My wife's in danger. We're talking about my wife. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? 
Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right, Max. Hang in there, buddy. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio. Yeah, that's a mean ass it's bear right trap. That. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your step so you don't end up like Mac. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. With the traps and also the darkness, campfire went out. They got got. Ow. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves. All right, Barry, I'm going to stop you there, buddy. Why don't we just take this Ow. one step at you a time? Can't you just believe that I fucking shot a guy? Stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. That's because you're my homeopath, no buddy. Ha-ha. <laughs> period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Ow, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess we're uh, leaving now. Only you can prevent forest fires. Crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn <laughs> debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come oh, how is, okay, It okay. made like no sound. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Also, do yourself a fairy ba berry and just stay in the light, buddy. Stay in the light. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. 15% commission. You know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. That's where I can shove that flashlight, right? Right there, Barry. Right there. Switch the lights on. Here. Keeping you safe, Barry. I'm sorry. I thought I thought the I thought it said switch the lights on. I'm sorry. Stay in the light, Barry. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. Is that a rocking chair? Oh. <laughs> no, it's just a chair that I knocked the fuck over. What does grabbing the coffee do for me? Okay, let me just check around the cabin. There's got to be like something, right? Like some sort of manuscript somewhere, right? Hello? Oh, thought the well was open. Oh, more coffee.
Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else back here. Frightening intensity, and now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. <laughs> All this fancy wordings, right? <laughs> and just to just to put a point at the end, going scared the fucking shit out of Barry, man. Dude's terrified. Like, I can hear that. Use. Oh, am I taking his car? Am I. Wait, am I, I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. Wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Then why even give me the option to check it out? Alright, here's a new flash, right? Maybe whenever I get those flares, I shouldn't just save them. Because it seems like I can't carry them over to the next, to the next episode. Hello. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You'll make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the joke, too. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. All right. Oh, there was a light switch the entire time. Let me just do that to feel safe. Sitting in the dark like a madman. Does it make that easier to read? Nope, I don't know what the fuck those books say. Take a quick on look right behind it. Alright. Now, which way do I want to go? This is I came from up there, yeah? Yeah, okay. This is where I came from, so I'm just going to keep going. <sighs> ah, shit. And it begins. I want to play on the swings. Look, I'm doing it. Made me happy. No view or anything? Fuck your trash can. I'm 
was in here walking in the woods and I, I forgot that he said be I thought I fucking heard a noise. I forgot the dude said be careful where you're walking. It's bear traps. I wouldn't expect them to be close to the cabins like this, but you know. People could be dickheads. The fuck happened here? Wrong button. Lights don't work. And there was definitely blood on the floor. It's a weird blood splatter. Kind of just stops, you know what I mean? Talking about the man in the mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? Is it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game you pick a Why do they both look so fucking shady? The fuck? <laughs> and the way the camera moved that whole entire time. Everybody looks so fucking sketchy. Okay. That was fun though. I like these. I really do. I'm really enjoying this game. Why is the light just perfectly on that fucking bottle? Is it product placement? What is this? Crows are fucking going nuts. Hmm. The hell is this? Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Hmm. So I was right. They do try to fuck each other. 
He's like, you might fall in love with the coffee here. She's like, don't worry, I'll come by and make you some more later. It's like, that's such a weird thing to say <laughs> unless you're like intimate. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in its cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh, damn, dude. Rusty's gonna die? Fuck. Standing in the light, feeling all warm and bright. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Damn, they got him. I'm coming to save you, buddy. Hold up. I'm coming to save you in a little bit. Might be something in the corner over here. Wait a minute. Hold up. Listen, it's on the page. You're going to die either way. The way you die doesn't matter to me. Rusty, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Mr. Wake? It happened like it was on the page, huh? Oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found Game True. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that gun up. <laughs> Maybe I should have left it with him. Good boy. It's okay, Max. It's okay. He's gonna die. Why do I feel like he's gonna get ripped off the balcony or some dumb shit? Wait, you said in the office, right? Am I crazy? Is this not the office? Where is it? Where's the office? Hold up. Where's the office? I'm confused. You're confusing me. Is it like... Is it away from here? Is it over there? Is this the, the office? only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh shit, what's this? Rusty attacked by the dark pre- oh fuck me. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Right, Rusty. Don't worry, man. Uh. I was Son of a bitch. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Ah, fucking fuck. Hold up, Rusty. There's a manuscript. I'll read it. I'll read it after I save you. Even though you're probably gonna die. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Oh, you're the poacher, huh? Oh, what the fuck? The hell is this? Fuck, I didn't think you were that close. What the hell did I... What the hell did I land on? What is this?
Rusty, buddy, you in here? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Was it the size of a man? Oh no, they tucked the dog. Please don't feed the animals. What the fuck are you in here? Why'd you sound so close? Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Okay. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Can I go back here? Nope. All right. Listen, take Rusty, right? But don't take the dog. Obey. The Park Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no. Oh shit, Rusty's a shadow man now. Two bears and wolves never approach any other world. Closer than 45 yards. Okay, got all, I got all the ammo. It is against the wall to remove any objects or historical artifacts from the park. God, you, you move too fucking much. Return to Rusty, is that not Rusty? What? Yeah, that is, wait. Sorry, buddy. shots left. Be careful where I step. Is that a fucking shadow mammoth? Oh my god. What kind of bullshit is this? Where's the dog at? about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door Stay for Stay in anything. the light, buddy. I mean it. Stay in the light. Listen to what I'm telling you. Stay in the light. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Yeah. Damn, dog. I'm just checking in the woods, all right? I don't know what I'm looking for, but I was just looking.
Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave. I just want to make sure if this area is blocked off or not. Doesn't seem like it, so I'm going to take a little detour. Hope I find myself a flare gun. I for frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. Hmm. Am I gonna be fucking attacked in here? Pretty damn dark. Alright. Let's make our way to Lover's Peak. I gotta go save my wife. Oh, come on. Gonna come, gonna come popping out of there? Huh? Gonna scare me? Damn it. <laughs> Came out the other way. Son of a bitch. Stuck against the fucking rock. Is there a, is there a nice warm light I can bathe under? <laughs> Get some health back. for those bear traps. I don't know what direction to go. He just gave me a lot of uh, a lot of options. Nice open area. It's definitely got to be like some sort of pickup around here or something, right? Here we go. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Oh, so that's how he knows her. Came looking for, uh, came looking for Alan. And then she's like, oh, Mr. Wake? Yeah, I saw him. I'm telling the whole town he's here. Where you at, Shadow Men? I know you're coming after me. Seems like one of those areas where you keep spawning, so I'm gonna keep running. I got a manuscript, I'm happy. I'm just gonna take what I can get and get the fuck out of here.
Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, save me. Close one. Oh, I'm fucking. Oh, god damn it. Fuck, man, you guys are way faster than me. go all right they're like a pathway to follow you gotta be fucking kidding me This is definitely going to be the death of me. I'm just going to continue this way. It's a big ass light source over there, so it's got to be good, right? Yep. Bathe in the light. Oh, go fuck yourself. My health is good right now, but still. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Okay, so there's a chest around here somewhere where I can get some goodies. Thanks for letting me know. Just keep looking with your flashlight. Don't stop looking. Let me just make sure. Okay, so there's no other pathway. Alright. Bear alert! Am I gonna fight some ghost bears? <laughs> you hit him? That's great. I pressed the dodge button. Come on. Alright, I didn't press the dodge button that time.
So, I thought originally in this game you would kind of like, you know, pick and choose enemies, which to take down, run past the rest, but nope. Because I, because Alan has zero running abilities, right? And honestly, no options for melee, it seems. Then, for the most part, take out the enemies, right? Oh, there's be there better be something back here. Come on, you're letting me back here. Damn it. I'm trying to see if I can find like an arrow somewhere to lead me to some goodies. For your safety, stay on the designated hiking trail. Don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm a rider. Don't you think I know these things? Which way did I come from? <laughs> I came from this way, right? So I wanna wanna check over here real quick. Oh, the hell? Okay, that was like a weird thing on the floor. Wait, no, I came from, wait. Oh, this is the way I came from. Okay, why did it look like it was like a three-way path? Oh, because I was able to walk over there and that didn't give me anything. All right, cool. Coffee fee. Thank you. Dates from 1846, the year of the Oregon tragedy. What's the Oregon tragedy? Is that like the Trail of Tears? What is that? Checkpoint reached. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. So what, am I running from the FBI or some shit? What kind of Twin Peak shit is this? Oh my god, I totally want to play Deadly Premonition now. <laughs> god damn it. Watch your step, Mr. Wake. You might slip and fall. You gonna you gonna open up for me? You gonna open the door, big boy? Oh wait, no, I forgot. I just pushed my body into the door to open things. Please keep the doors closed. You can't tell me what to do, I'm a fucking grown man. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I knew this shit was gonna happen. I was hoping it wouldn't. Can I, can I turn around? Oh no, it's the Shadow Men! They're going after my flashlight! Just like the page, I was bathed in the light. 
Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Are hey, you the one that called me like a, a Yoki or whatever the fuck? Stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Okay, cool, but what if I don't have flares? Give me my flashlight. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Don't hurt my buddy. Don't shoot him. The, the light thing's not done yet. All right? Oh, fuck. I got a flare. What's up, bitches? Wait, what? Get the one closest to us, man. Ah, fuck! Just keep that flare going. That kind of doesn't help when they, uh, you know, when they can throw axes at you. my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. Can I throw the flare? I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Get the fuck out the way, man. Don't come near me and my boy. I got a fucking flashlight. Oh, fuck. Shoot him, buddy. Come on. Lover's Peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. The Give fuck the are you talking about? Yeah, no can do, Wake. Oh my god. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back off. Hold them off, damn If if I'm holding them off now, then what the fuck was I doing earlier? Am I actively supposed to be protecting you or just like getting it? Oh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Let's go, bitch. I'm in light. I'm good. They can kill your ass for all I care. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Yeah, I'm feeling fucking good, bitch. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. By the way, I've been following him. He's been distracting me. I haven't been searching. It, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. 
That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Well, then start shooting, bitch. I'm using your ass as a meat shield, buddy. <laughs> I dodged in the fucking... <laughs> the axe went straight for him. What the hell is that up there? Oh, fucking Christ. Motherfuckers can do combos now? Let me out the corner! What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man. I press the dodge button and I didn't do shit. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long Seems like my survivability went way the fuck Give down the once once you uh once you tuck the gun away from me. Get with the program, Wake. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, you shoot him, buddy. Keep going. You want to shoot the one next to me? Thank you. All right, get them. They're all yours. You're, you're missing. You're missing your shots. I dodge right into it. <laughs> Shoot the guy, he's right there. Is that dude dressed up like Michael Myers? <laughs> ah, what? I dodged. He's a cake, my ass. They're still coming for us. you all up like fucking sheep. Was that my last flare? That's my last flare. It's all up to you, man. It's all up to you. Ah, fucking fuck. Ah. take no more that's got to be it let's cut the act now where's my wife i knew you were gonna say that i read it all before you're a hell of a writer congratulations you're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control what the hell are you talking about where's alice i want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad you touch her I knew that would happen too, because you wrote it. I'm a chef, chef too.